Hi, uh, driveway DIY here. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about today is uh, the dreaded uh, Vauxhall Corsa uh, oil pressure light. The one that comes on, flickers on and off. You usually find them in Corsa C's, Corsa B's. Uh, it seems to be an ongoing problem. Every Corsa I seem to come out, get hold of, seems to have this oil pressure problem. Uh, one of the things I see on on uh, YouTube is uh, is replacing the switch, which is this. I think anyone who drives a Corsa or is into cars would normally see this as a as a problem when the oil pressure uh, light comes on. Uh, but what happened to mine? It went from the oil pressure light coming on, for me replacing this, for the engine to break up and uh, fall into pieces. So when you're looking at oil pressure. Uh, an oil pressure light, you really have to take it seriously. Uh, don't just go down the, uh, the nearest auto parts store and buy one of these. What you need to do is get hold of one of these and do a proper oil pressure test on it before you do anything else because once that light comes on, if it's an oil pressure problem, uh, you're going to lose your engine. Uh, oil pressure, as you probably know, is different to oil supply. Oil pressure has to uh, I think the oil pressure on this is something like 21 psi. Uh, I did an oil pressure test on mine and it came out as something like 5 psi or 10 psi and that was when the engine was hot which was uh, pretty much in line with the oil pressure uh, gauge coming on. Uh, in the end I lost my, uh, basically lost my engine and it turned into this which as you can see is a bit of a mess. This is a piston. Uh, it broke down. Piston, piston rings. Uh, rods, all sorts of stuff, and this is a camshaft as well. This broke in half because it was absolutely getting no oil pressure and no oil supply purely down. And the light was telling me as well. So, if you get a light, make sure you take it seriously. Uh, I mean, this this cost me about 10 quid, did absolutely nothing for it, didn't improve anything. This cost me about 600 quid to put right, and it was a right mess. So there was a lot of work involved. Uh, well, in the end, I ended up, we bought the car for 600 quid and got rid of the car, stripped the engine down to find all this. Uh, and that's it, it was gone. This was due to the fact that it hadn't had a, any oil changes in the past. Uh, the history is very vague, but the light was on. If the light's on, take it seriously. Get an oil pressure tester. This cost me about 20 or 30 quid. Uh, and it was accurate as well. It's got all the different fittings and various pipes and everything. Uh, I was looking for over 20 psi and ended up getting about 5 psi so if you've got an oil pressure switch light coming on take it seriously don't just go out and rush out and buy a, buy a switch from the uh, parts store because it's not going to make any difference obviously if you've got a leak or something like that then fine but this was a right mess completely destroyed the engine so uh, make sure you look at that anyone who's getting into uh, car repair don't just swap parts for the sake of it it's the worst thing you can do because you're wasting money go out and buy the right diagnostic equipment and uh, do the job properly if you're not sure then get help but this was a real mess a real mess completely knackered the engine completely so uh, this is just a short video to tell you any of you Vauxhall Corsa drivers out there you got a light on this is what could happen pretty cool hey Cheers, thank you. Uh, hopefully, uh, like my station, my channel, because uh, there's a lot more of this stuff to come. I'm only new at it, so don't be too harsh on me. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, uh, this is pretty pretty outrageous. Cheers for watching, and hope, hopefully it's helpful. Just check that switch. That's all we can say. Thank you.